So we got to talk a little bit about the the length. Uh, hundred thousand over one hundred four hundred forty eight pages over a little over a hundred thousand words. Is that yes. in the initial draft? Or yes. Was the initial draft even longer. Oh, the initial draft was even longer. Uh, it was like one hundred and thirty thousand words, I think, maybe at one point. Um, I'm very lucky that Candlewick is sort of like they don't have specific lengths that they cut their authors off. They're just like, whatever you think is right. Um, however, I was informed that once we go over, I think like 480 pages, the price per book jumps up. The book's production becomes more expensive and we lose things like pretty sheen on cover and nice pages and like because the the cost has to be cut somewhere else and we also lose there's some schools and libraries that just won't order books that are that big they just are like mm, nope our students are too intimidated by that long of books so i you know my editor said look you can do what you want we're behind you 100 but here's what you might be trading off so we did a lot of trimming um, we did a lot of, and, and actually by the time we got through line edits, it was down around like 110,000. Um, and then from then it was, um, it was getting rid of a lot of the white space. The gargoyle chapters were much sparser looking, like each sentence was on its own blank, like on its own sentence, on its own, um, line break, because I just wanted it to physically look very different from Duck's chapters. And obviously that like expanded <laughs> the, the pages quite a bit. So getting rid of a lot of those page chapters helped shrink the book page wise down quite a bit. But yeah, it's a big fat book. My next book next year is a YA and it's shorter than this, which is weird, but every book is just the length that needs to be. I, that. I, I get frustrated when I read a book and I can tell that the ending is being rushed a bit because the author ran out of space. Yes. Uh, and just here, everything was resolved in a couple of chapters. I'm like, no, we were going yep. at a nice pace. What happened? I know. And, well, and, uh, and vice versa, uh, books that feel like they've been expanded when they would have probably been very powerful if they had been shorter, you know? Um, but I think especially in middle grade, there's a lot of fretting about page count and book length and um, because it can be it can be very intimidating to a young reader to pick up a big fat book like this. But, you know, I, I, I think it's an investment for parents who want to plunk 20 books, 20 bucks down for a book that their kid's not going to finish in an hour. <laughs> like, like when when I buy my kids graphic novels and they're like, I'm done, I finished it. I'm like, we're still in the car. Don't tell me you're done with it. Ah. So that this was is like dollars. It was should have lasted at least an hour. No, well, yeah, or just like <laughs> ah, savor it. But um, anyway, and I, I am, I was thinking a lot about Hugo by um, Brian Brian Selznick. Yeah, you go. Yeah, when that came out. I remember reading a pretty patronizing newspaper article actually about how librarians at schools couldn't keep it on the shelves because kids loved being able to say, I read this whole big, huge fat book. Now, the reason why the article was so patronizing was because, you know, I think the actual word count in that book is only like between 20 and 30,000 words. There's not a lot of actual words because that book is mostly pictures, you know, but it's, it's like an 800 page book. And these reluctant readers, um, as we call them, I guess, um, could carry around that big fat book so proud that they had finished it um, because maybe they were used to just the little, the little readers that they usually are, are able to do. So, and I, I feel like a similar thing is happening with graphic novels that they're big, they're big books and, and readers of all kind of, um, uh, levels can feel really proud that they've been able to finish a whole book. So I don't know, I guess I, I just, I'm not particularly afraid of any page length um, as a writer, because I just know like it'll find its readers, I think, I hope. God bless the good folks at Candlewick Press for uh, giving you the, the freedom and the luxury to be able to do that. I know, I'm very lucky. And they're very, um, they're very passion project author first at Candlewick, which is why you get so many great weird books out of Candlewick.